bad accident. Hi, I'm Craig Duck, President and Missionary of the Fellowship of Christian Firefighters, here with another Tailboard Talk group discussion. These short videos are designed to help you grow in your faith uh, and to uh, get closer to God. And so we're here today to talk about a bad accident. You know, obviously, uh, many departments have tools. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of tools you have, whether they're Hearst or Amcus, uh, uh, but they're designed to be able to uh, uh, take a crumpled mess and, and be able to extricate people. It's important for us as firefighters and first responders to be familiar with each tool that we have. Uh, we need to clean them regularly, we need to test them regularly, and we need to uh, make sure we're proficient at it because we never know when we're going to get a bad accident. Our department the other day ran uh, a, a pretty bad one. It was a head-on collision. and and uh, the two people collided um, both died in their vehicles along with two dogs and you know it took every one of these uh, pieces of equipment uh, to be able to get them out they, they were uh, pinned in there really really bad and so uh, after the police came we knew they were dead uh, after the police came and did an investigation uh, then we had to uh, take each one out and, and um, uh, put them in in the coroner's vehicle uh, to be able to uh, to investigate and, and do what uh, what they do but uh, but the point of the matter is it, it was lengthy it was difficult uh, we had to be proficient at, at using these tools and everybody on that uh, incident did did a great job in, in getting those two people out but you know while we were just sitting around I, I was wondering uh, wondering uh, what they were thinking you know uh, both of them woke up that morning and uh, had things to do. One was on their way to their second home to uh, do some renovating and some work. The other was coming home from work. And, and uh, um, I guess what happened was uh, the one had a massive heart attack and went into the oncoming lane and hit the other person and, and killed her instantly. But, you know, they didn't wake up expecting to die that day. Uh, they both had things to do. And so that reminds me of a, of a passage in James, and I love the book of James and uh, everything that he says. And uh, this verse uh, comes to us, James 4, 14, says, Yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. Uh, and so this whole passage, when you look into that, it, it, it is important to look at a whole passage, know the context of it. And so if you're using this video as a, uh, a Bible study tool for your local group, which is great, I encourage that, or maybe some one-on-one -on -one discipleship, you know, look beforehand and look afterwards to see what is that passage talking about. And it's, uh, uh, James is reminding us that life is short. And he's reminding us that we all make plans and, and uh, we want to do things, but most times we leave the Lord out of those plans and we say, well, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that and, and not thinking, well, if the Lord wills, I would like to do this or if the Lord wills, I would like to do that. And so, you know, as um, first responders, we should know that life is short. A uh, hundred firefighters die in the line of duty. Uh, EMS folks die in the line of duty, police officers. Uh, and, and so uh, that is always before us as we get those notifications and and so uh, many more are hurt and, and so we don't know what uh, today is going to bring uh, we don't know when that alarm hits uh, what where it's going to take us you know and we might have to give the ultimate sacrifice and, and uh, uh, die uh, in the line of duty we hope that doesn't happen but but the point of the matter is how is your relationship with Jesus Christ you know what what are you doing are, are you living for yourself are you living for worldly pleasures? Or are you um, taking advantage of the Bible and reading it and studying it and applying biblical truth uh, to your life? And so that's the, that's the ultimate thing. You know, our life is short. It's but a mist, uh, that verse goes on to say. It is just we're here for, for just a quick, a hot second, we used to say uh, in some of the companies I, I was uh, uh, serving in. And so we focus so much on that hot second or that mist and we don't focus on eternity. And so it is important for us to focus on eternity. What are we doing that, that is pleasing to God? What, uh, uh, you know, are we obeying those truths or are we um, uh, serving self? And so, so this verse, this passage, uh, uh, causes us to pause and think and say, what can we do uh, for God today? 
uh, while it is called day. And if the Lord wills, then, then uh, uh, we can do this or that. And so, so again, if you're using this as a Bible study, what I would encourage you to do is then do a, a, a uh, search of the Internet, whether it's Google or Bing or whatever your search engine is, and find, you know, just search in um, to, to find out what other passages are similar because there's plenty of them, uh, you know, of... Uh, you know, our life is, is just here for a, a short amount of time. And then, and then you can expand that, that study and what do those other verses say? How can I apply that to my life? How can, can, I, how can I focus on godly things, still being a great firefighter, still doing the things that our departments require of us, um, but also doing the things that God requires of us and having that deep relationship with him. You know, maybe some of you are watching this and you don't have that relationship uh, with Jesus Christ. Your sins have never been forgiven. And so I would just encourage you to go to our website, www.fellowshipofchristianfirefighters.org, and you can find out, you know, what God expects of, of uh, Christian firefighters. Uh, there's a nice little thing where you take an extinguisher and kind of walk you through the plan of salvation. Uh, you know, how an extinguisher is A, B, C, and, uh, you know, we talk about the Romans road. A is for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23. Um, for the wages of sin is death, uh, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, Romans 6.23. You know, uh, we have to, there's a part in it that we play in belief, the B, uh, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Uh, and then uh, it talks about confessing uh, the C part in uh, uh, if one confesses with his mouth and believes in his heart uh, that Jesus was raised from the den, dead, then he or she shall be saved. And so, so kind of look at that, uh, that extinguisher thing, uh, analogy that we have there on, online. And, and then you can have a right relationship with Jesus Christ. Those of you that have been saved, well, uh, what are you doing currently for God? You know, how are you serving him? How are you glorifying God in the fire service? And, uh, and so uh, just kind of do that study with your one-on-one uh, -on -one discipleship partner or, or your Bible study group and see what you can do. And let me know. Um, you know, go ahead and email me at uh, um, firequacker621 at aol.com. Let me know what you gleaned from that and, and what, uh, what your thoughts are and how we can make this better. If you got this off of YouTube, hey, hit the uh, comments below. Uh, tell me what you learned. Show me and uh, um, explain to me. Uh, how you're going to improve and how you're going to uh, get better. And, and so uh, together we can improve. So uh, let's go ahead and pray. Our great Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your goodness and how you love us. And we just thank you for this challenge, Lord, that uh, uh, we would be more like Jesus Christ each and every day, that we would uh, not take for granted today, but that we would know that it could be our last and that we want to be pleasing to you in everything we say and do. And and we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Let your friends know about this. Uh, go ahead and get it to all your social media friends, everybody in your firehouse and, and station. You know, let's, uh, let's start a revival within the fire service. And uh, it begins with you and me. And then it goes on from there. So, uh, again, you got it on YouTube. Hit the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you got it on the app, um, Christian Firefighter Hub, then uh, we thank you for that. Uh, again, you can share it with those folks, or maybe you got it on our website, www.fellowshipofchristianfirefighters.org. All right, so again, uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and uh, may God continue to bless you as you daily walk with him. See you later.